Kia ora, g'day, Paul Brennan, bring our birds home. It is the 30th of July, Tuesday, the second to last day of July. In just over two weeks, I'm heading to Brazil,、uh, initially to Sao Paulo to meet with our representative in Brazil, Cesar Nogueira. When the story of recovering ZKNZC is told in full, the name Cesar Nogueira will come up quite a bit, believe me. Without Cesar's help, we just wouldn't be where we are today in our effort to reclaim this airframe. So I'll be meeting Caesar in his home city of Sao Paulo.、Uh, I'll be leaving New Zealand on the 11th of August. And then on the 13th and 14th of August, we'll be up in Manaus face to face with our beautiful ZKNZC, the last remaining originally delivered Kiwi delivered DC 8 on the planet. Uh, sitting there at Manaus. It's been there since 2005.、Uh, if you've been following the campaign, you know that quite a way back, a couple of years ago, we made a deal with Infoero, the airport company uh, that uh, has NZC on its airport right now,、um, to buy the airframe from them. We've had some legal issues、uh, regarding a bankruptcy that,、uh, I mean, it's a double edged sword. Without that bankruptcy of TCB Cargo Airlines in 2005, And the、um, court process that followed. This aircraft probably wouldn't be in existence today. It's been part of a group of encumbered assets that has been at a glacial speed working its way through the courts as this bankruptcy case has been,、um, well, attempted to be resolved. It's taken a long time. And who knows if it will ever get to an end point. But it means that the assets that were left by TCB Cargo Airlines on the day they went belly up were left where they were.、Uh, just so Happened that NZC was in Manaus that day, and since 2005 it's been sitting there、uh, and progressively deteriorating, as you've seen in the pictures.、And、we're a little concerned that if that goes on too much longer,、um, the damage will become more and more, and we want to minimize that. But、uh, we'll see what we can do about that. But it's been quite a big effort to、uh, try and resolve this legal problem, and that is to have this airframe as part of a group of encumbered assets involved in a rather large. Bankruptcy involving tens, if not hundreds, of millions of dollars removed from that group and、uh, permission given to the airport company in Manaus, Infoero, to sell the aircraft directly to us. They want to get rid of it. It's taking up valuable space. And of course, if they have to dispose of it at some point in the future, it will cost them money. So it's a win win for us and them if we can do this deal. And I'm pretty sure we are going to do this deal, but we have to get this legal thing resolved. And I'm hoping that we can、um, uh, be successful in, in organizing and pinning down,、uh, confirming some meetings in the capital, Brasilia. We've left a few days available to do that if, if, it,、uh, if it can be done, where we go and meet、uh, legal officials and maybe a political official or two to brief them on what we're trying to do and see what the way forward is for. Um, clarifying the legal status of that,、uh, this artifact and to get it separated off from the others so we can buy it and bring it back into Kiwi ownership after, well, nearly 40 years. So I don't know what to expect when I get to Manaus and come face to face with this aircraft.、Um, I think it's going to be an amazing moment. We're going to capture it on film and hopefully we'll have good internet connections. We'll be able to feed the footage up. Quickly, you'll be able to see what you o k n we're w doing and seeing.、Uh, we want to inspect the aircraft. We believe there's a lot of mud in it. There'll be what creepy crawlies, snakes in the plane or on the plane or whatever you call it, scorpions, centipedes. I'm going to have to psychologically prepare myself for that.、Uh, hopefully, taking a drone so we'll get some drone shots. And、uh, this will also be the catalyst for the TV program that、uh, we have a An English production company interested, the makers of Plane Resurrection, interested in, in making and covering our effort. This will be the starting point, uh, and uh, New Zealand media have、uh, indicated that if we come back with good footage,、uh, maybe the Sunday Current Affairs show will do a piece on us. I've already talked to them, they're very interested. Also,、uh, Jim Mora at RNZ will be interviewing me while I'm over there, so that's a great opportunity. I think just to see the aircraft. Um, I know it's a machine, it's an inanimate object, but、uh, that aircraft has been the intersection point for many experiences, many lives in、uh, this country. People who used to work on the plane,、uh, fly the plane, travel in the plane,、um, they're all, in a way, contained and fused in that airframe. And I think it's going to be a very special moment of connection. I really hope it will be. 
when we get face to face with this aircraft. And our technical consultant, Rex Stanners, is very interested in knowing the condition of this aircraft so a dismantling effort can be planned. Um, particularly the condition of the left undercarriage, we want to tow it off that ground eventually, so that'll need to be repaired, so we need to understand what needs to be replaced there. Handily, there are some other um, derelict DC-8s in the airport um, vicinity, so uh, hopefully there'll be some uh, parts that we can cannibalise to make that happen. One of the engines, as you've seen from footage, is missing off the wing. We're told it's inside the uh, fuselage, so we want to confirm that. I'm curious about the... Um, condition of the cockpit and the instrumentation that's in there, uh, all those things. We'll find out about that when we get up there. But we wouldn't be going without your support, and here's where I really want to thank you. Um, without your support, we wouldn't be anywhere near this. And you've put your confidence and trust in our campaign. And I know it's been quite a long period so far, not too long, a couple of years is neither here nor there, but you know, it, it wasn't just a uh, just add water situation. We've had to we've had to go hard and stay at it to get where we are today, and we're going to have to go harder and stay at it for longer to achieve hopefully the full mission or even just parts of the mission. Um, I know the uh, meaning of herding cats now. I understand that, and I also think that probably nothing of real worth or or meaning happens easily. You've got to you've got to really make the effort. You've got to be committed and you've got to really want to do it. I don't see anyone else lining up to save these airframes. They're very important. To me personally, they're incredibly important. If it was just for me, I'd be doing this, but I know that that uh, feeling extends a long way out to a lot of people. I'm conscious of that. So I want to thank you so much for your support, your encouragement, your enthusiasm, and basically saying just keep going, don't give up, keep going, and if you uh, achieve things, we'll be there, we'll support you. And I also see getting this DC-8 sorted out and back in New Zealand ownership after 40 years is the catalyst, I see it as the catalyst to making the others happen as well. We've got a 737 sitting in a field in North Carolina waiting for us to, to bring her home. We've got a, a 748 sitting derelicted in an airport in Bangladesh waiting for us to come and get her, to bring her home. We've got a DC-10 sitting at Havana Airport um, sitting, waiting for us to come and and bring her home. The other two, the Electra and the 747, they're still flying. We can park our efforts uh, regards those off for a while. The urgency's not quite there for those, but for these other four airframes, we've got to work hard and we we can't stop, we can't give up. So the 11th of August, I leave for uh, Brazil. We'll be in Manaus, 13th and 14th. Hopefully we'll get to Brasilia as well. And uh, we, can, we can talk to some legal political people and uh, the footage will be coming as we're up there. I'll try and get it up as soon as we uh, have it filmed and done, probably same day. You'll be able to follow the progress. And the Give a Little page is still open. All this is being done on donations. See, we wouldn't be able to do this without your help. And uh, once this bit's done, we'll need more donations. But I think after you see us uh, on this trip and uh, see the DC-8 and see where we're at with it, that there'll be a renewed level of enthusiasm or engagement. The confidence um, stays uh, in the uh, in the effort, and uh, we can move to the next level. So thanks for your support. Uh, I'll probably do another video update before I leave. Uh, as I say, uh, donations are open. Give a little. We're a registered charity, so you can um, claim on your tax. And I want to thank you sincerely. Uh, for supporting Bring Our Birds Home. Fakahokia Mayo Tato Manu Kitikainga.